going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. It can be a little bit overwhelming when you get all those tiles. So I like to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand by doing random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll start as player one, then we'll be player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28 again. We have one, two, four, five, eight in cracks with a pair of fives, three, four, five, six, seven, nine in bams with a pair of fives and a pair of nines. In dots, we have three, seven, eight, pair three, pung eight. We have east and west with a pair of east, a dragon, and four flowers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play maybe three, four, five pair hand, and then eight, nine mixed suit Kongs with flowers. I think this is how I would do it. We would need six flowers here, so that's a bit light. We could Kong here. We need a little help with our nine. Eight, nine, and two suits with six flowers. One thing I was thinking, maybe we could use these to help us get there. We could Pung Pung. And then down here, play three, four, five concealed. No flowers needed there. But if the pear hand came in, we would maybe then just focus on getting flowers or jokers up here. Here we have potential joker bait. If you want to know more about joker bait, look in the video description below for links to videos that can help you understand that strategy. But it will, would allow us to maybe get some jokers out of those. I would start by discarding there. So we have eight discards, joker bait, and two hands. When you have all these tiles, a lot of times you can pick a hand from the beginning. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull one and what you would do with these tiles. We have one, two, four, five, eight in cracks with a pair of fives and a pair of eights. In bams, we have two, five, six, seven, eight, nine singles. In dots, we have two, three, four, five. We have a pair of Norse and a West and a green dragon. And then in flowers, we have four and a couple of jokers. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, 
I think I would play three, four, five with fours in the middle, consecutive run, and then something with six flowers, like numbers with eights, or maybe eight, nine, or seven, eight, mixed suit Kongs. Okay, down here, we could do three, four, five with fours in the middle or four, five, six with fives in the middle, but we don't have the right sixes. Like we would need a six crack in there. So I would come up with a plan B for down here. Maybe keep the dragon for like numbers with fives and dragons. And that way we could use the flowers up here with the eights or maybe seven, eight in mixed suit or eight, nine in mixed suits. And then we could use this as joker bait and discard these first. So I think that's how I would do it. This is not as good as I originally thought. It wouldn't be three, four, five with fours in the middle because we are really light on our fours. We have no three crack and we'd have to throw away a pair of fives. So probably four, five, six would be the run to work with. So this might need to go away. The other thing we could do is four, five, four, five dragon. That's probably stronger than four, five, six with fives in the middle. Either way, we have jokers to help us. So I think that's what I would do here. If you would do something differently, write pull two and what you would do with these tiles. We have one, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine in dots, pair five, pair seven. We have a four bam in cracks. We have two, five, six, nine, pair five, pair nine. We have all the dragons, pung of white, pair red, single green. In winds, we have a pung of south and, or oops, pung of north, pair south. And then we have a joker. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles. I think I would play one, three, five dragon and then north and south with a run. It's kind of a shame that we wouldn't be able to use all these dragons. And I also wish we had twos because I would try for the big year hand with all those, but we don't have that. So we'll leave that for another day. North and south with a run, single pair pung, one, three, five dragon, joker bait, discards. This I think would work nicely for joker bait. We've got a middle number. We've got dragons. We've got discards. So gather, discard, look for timing for these. If you want to know more about joker bait, don't forget to look for the link in the video description below. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. One thing I was thinking is maybe we could do like numbers with fives, but we have a gap, no five bam. We could maybe use that for the five bam, but we need a Kong there. These match, so the five bam would be critical to that particular sh shape and usage of tiles. 
So I think I would maybe try to let those go first and hold on to these for maybe that like number potential. If a five bam comes in, maybe switch to like numbers with fives, with dragons. We'd have to let a white dragon go though. Here, we could either pung the three or kong the five. We'd need help with the one. Here, we need help with the eight. We got the single pair. We could Kong the North. We just need help right there. So I think this would be fun to play out. If you would do something differently, write it in the comment section below with pull three. If you're playing in person, you'll have plenty of time to figure out what you're doing with all those tiles. But if you play online, you've got to make quick decisions. Practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand with your tiles at home. If you need a set, look for a link in the video description below for one I highly recommend from Gammon Village. Not sponsored. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.